my ship, my <laughs> No, that, that, that. <laughs> You did that one when we did the episode in the car. <laughs> I know, I can't use that one again. Okay. Oh my god, I know what I'm going to do. Oh, this is going to be a fucked up episode. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. it will be. Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen for our eighth episode of Not Robots Podcast. He is your host, Harry, and he's about to do his carpal tunnel hand movement again. Hopefully it's the right numbers. Yes, look at that. Four and four makes eight. Good job, Harry. Are you just not talking on a podcast? It's not going to work. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my eight. Hey, I want to congratulate you today, man. You you finally have a teenager. <laughs> you have to break that up. Hey, my my daughter uh, has been a teenager for about eight months now. More power to you, my your, brother. Your son has been a teenager for about eight hours. What's your point? So, <laughs> What's your, your, what are you trying to say? Well, um, I'm I'm trying to follow. With with both of us having teenagers now. I feel that it would be our our fatherly responsibility to Start give drinking them, more now. Well, I, yeah, I, I like whiskey, but we should give them some fatherly Seven. advice. Oh, okay, okay, on, yes. That would be today's age old question. Wait, it, this is a question. Yes. How do you? Wait, how? Why are all of our questions age old? Because that's what we came up with. When did we sign off on that? I don't know. We are probably drinking and talking about doing this one day. That's how this came about, remember? Okay, fine. We were yes, working the on your car. old question. We're changing the drive axle. We should blah, blah, blah. All right. Today, we're going to answer the age-old question. Well, actually, Did we really say we should blah, blah, blah? No, but the conversation was too long for one podcast. Ah, okay. Because how long did it take to change that axle? Just a matter of minutes. <laughs> Multiplied by how many minutes? <laughs> I'm sorry. Math is not my 40. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today we're going to answer the age-old question, and it's going to be good advice to teenagers out there. How do you survive a New Year's party? Do you want to start off with any advice, Larry? New Year's party. Yes, New Year's party. You mean like one of those New Year's Eve events where you go and, you know, you and a bunch of friends say, hey, we're going to get together and... We're going to celebrate the transition from this year. In, in fact, this current one will be from this decade to that decade, which is going to be rather intriguing. But um, to where we, we go and we, uh, unluckily, for some reason, there's this, this tradition of imbibing heavily and potentially not really remembering what occurs in that transition phase. Yes, that one. <laughs> ah, yes. That the tradition. New Year's party. Yes, where okay. If you're, say, in New York, and whether either fortunately or unfortunately... Hey, there's balls in New York. They, they do drop They them. drop, yes. Correct. Yes, they become a man. Yes. That's not what it's called. Um, the New Year's party in, we'll say New York, like Times Square, for yes, example. Yes, Times Square. You can either say fortunately or unfortunately, whether you're an introvert or extrovert, or whether you would be there. And it seems like it would be an awfully cold place to be. Not um, when there's a million people crowded into, like, the size of a postage stamp. You don't feel a dang thing. Well, unless you're like really tall and the wind's blowing and sitting you in the face, so you'd have to duck. Okay, well, that would I'm, really suck. I'm like five foot nine, five ten, depending on which convenience store I'm running out of. So, um, I you probably at least wear the mask. Is the ma- the mask maybe adding? It's an a inch. bandolero. Okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we should we should give them some sort of advice on, as far as like surviving a party. And well, so I think we should start off with some examples of parties we've been to and how not to get into those Ex- situations. Oh, hold on, excuse me. I gotta adjust my halo. Okay, well, I, in this I, case, I'm gonna have the devil horns. I so. don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> go to parties because, you know. Um, yeah, I don't really go to those anymore either. I'll go to like family events and. Um, in my infinite saintliness. <clears throat> yes, yes, you, you, uh, Bring out the brasso and polish that uh, halo of yours. <laughs> It'll add tarnish. Why <laughs> well, I don't know what else to use to shine gold. I don't. It's, I can afford that stuff. It's 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 look. It doesn't need shine. It's, what do you mean tarnished? My halo is not tarnished. Yeah. Okay. 
Anyways, so um, some of the like Fourth of July parties and New Year's parties they always have fireworks. And oh yeah, blowing things up is yeah, it's wonderful. Fantastic. You know, especially if you've had one too many. So understand if you're going to a New Year's party or Fourth of July party, also also fall into that, or you know, there's maybe a big de Mayo or there's barbecue at a Fourth of whatever July Whatever country party. it is, there isn't barbecue there. at a New Year's party, sir. Have you ever been to New Year's bar- barbecue? Yes. You have? Yes. Where were you exactly? Florida. Oh, my bad. And in fact, this example that I'm going to give you was from Florida just a couple of years ago. Oh. So, fireworks, they can be a dangerous thing, especially when... How dangerous can they be? Well, we know the whole, don't blow your hand off, and you'll poke your eye out, and all that other... And they are 50! The whole, you know, jokes that come with it. But um, when you buy these mortars, the ones that shoot really high up in the air, and they go, boom, shh, you know, big old showers of sparks. You know, some states are not legalized. Can you do that again? Boom, shh, shh. Oh, wow. oh, for the hearing impaired, because we got that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're, uh, you're watching the one that has been included, the outtakes, say watching, because that would be the YouTube one. Because everything else is just audio, and we record this for audio, and YouTube is the us recording this, the, the camera's there. But that's not what we're recording the podcast on. I that's probably, too much information. Anyway, so these mortars, you want to make sure that the you get guy, your eyebrow waxed right before a podcast. Don't do that. Why okay. would you wax your eyebrows? <laughs> <clears throat> what, you paint your nails too? Get your canoe douched or whatever it's called? Hey, great, Perry. What's going on? <laughs> it's, the, it, it's, it's about to become a new decade. I'm trying to become in contact with... The saint is trying to become in contact with his feminine self. So is your name going to be changed from Harry to Hairless? But there's none anyway. See, yeah, there's that's there's from your there's eyebrows, there's like there's above your eyebrows, there's up. See, look. There's no hair. There's no hair. Okay. Well, there's... Well, I, you actually, have eyebrows. I got hit with the blade in the morning. Little, there's a little... Yeah. Fuzz ring going on. Fuzz ring? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, well, okay. Some people call it a goatee. Wow. wow. It's a okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. I see how it's going to be. Can't quite give it the goat. No, no, no. no, no. no. I, I see how it's going to be. Okay. Okay. All right. So on, let's let's harken back to your good yes. barbecue New the, Year's the party most, with the mortars. The most important thing about these mortars is that how you roasted the pig with the mortars. No. Well, I, just keep in mind that the guy that's loading the mortars into the tubes can't be the drunkest guy at the party. Why not? It's far more entertaining. I know, right? But the problem is not all the mortars match up to the same size tubes. Oh, yeah, so when you're trying <laughs> to wedge the wrong shell into a mortar, you've got a combination that's going to be really exciting it's very really explosive. fast. Very explosive. What else happens if you put one that's too small for the larger tube and it fits in there, it doesn't have the pressure to build up, so it just pops out and goes lands underneath the lawn chairs where everybody else are watching and blows up under your butt. Hmm. <laughs> so essentially what you're Boom. saying is these are great opportunities Boom. for um, coordination tests and reaction time and reflex exams. I like it. Yeah, open one box at a time when it comes to the mortars. Because <laughs> they will land in your barbecue. Well, why do why you need to only open one box at a time? So you don't mix up the mortar tubes but and I, put the wrong size mortar into the I tube. I usually only buy one type of mortar. Oh, well, if it's all the same size, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, yeah. so you know, you're... Load up a hundred of those. Exactly. Things. I just pack right. all the boxes and I line up my launchers. While you're at and it, then chop I them into the fireplace. And then I get all my shells and then, you know, I just run, you drop, and you light and go. So you go one, you light one, you light the other. You get by, so by the time you get to this one, that one should be about ready to fire. So by the time you get to the third one, you're actually... At a safe distance, I'm a seasoned mortar launcher. Well, uh, okay, so we'll, we'll talk about another party. Again, alcohol is involved. All right. Why is alcohol involved again? Well, it, it's what most people seem to be doing on on these big parties. Okay. Especially the the New Year's parties, which which people are going to be attending shortly after this podcast comes out. So we got to make sure that okay, they okay, have okay. the, the oh, safety Oh, I didn't realize that. On. So we, we, this, this is a public service announcement from 
At least I know I'm not a robot. Still a question. This one over here. Yes, yeah, so this. Down. My name is this one. But um, yes, his official name has been changed to this one because he is a droid. Um, so public service announcement. <coughs> announcement. My bad. There, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of losing it. I'm losing it here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you have the glitch. When you're attending one of your holiday parties this year, and there's copious amounts of alcohol, and you're going to do anything, even contemplating it when you walk through the door, doing anything that you may regret, let me tell you right now, your friends are not your friends because they will be filming this. And laughing. For years to come. Yes, so this party in Orlando at uh, UCF campus. Uh-oh. All right, we we're just on. said college kids and alcohol. Yes. Bad combination. That's like throwing gasoline on a bar. Well, no, it's like throwing gasoline on a couch and then throwing the couch out of the fifth floor while on fire. While there's a party going on across that hall, the whole, what's it called, when one dorm across the way from the other dorm and it's a big old courtyard? It, a courtyard? The courtyard, yeah, I guess that would be it. But there's a party going on on the same floor across the way, and you're having a contest to see who could throw the largest item that's on fire over the railing. So we can, like, harken back to, like, the original Judge Dredd with Sylvester Stallone with block wars and guys kind of firing rounds into each other's quad, except for this is couches. Yes, we weren't firing couches. We were setting so them on fire. Yeah, we were firing them. We were taking fire to the couch. And mattresses, and there may or may and not. box springs? Have anybody been riding? Were they adjustable? Mattresses? <laughs> were they the mattresses? The just okay. Have you ever seen a teenager ride a flaming mattress off the fifth floor balcony? Is this a joke? Is this one of those, you know, no, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> I've never seen a teenager ride a flaming mattress off a fifth floor balcony. Tell me all about that. Uh, that that's what happened at a New Year's party. Well, that when not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Well, um, there there was, was there more. a pool at the bottom. No, no. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of stuff that the mattress landed on top of. The guy didn't die. He was all right. I'm sure he felt that quite a bit for the next while. Was he on fire? <laughs> No. So we can't go into this dude who's on fire. Okay, we'll just let go. No, he, he didn't catch on fire. I don't know if he was like faring, where, faring, wearing some fire, fire retardant. retardant. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, by how drunk the guy was, you would have thought that he was completely covered in something flammable. <laughs> or breathing something flammable. Yeah, and... it should have been like, ooh, fire breathing dragon. That would but, have been entertaining. So we kind of get like the whole entire Ghost Rider effect, except for instead of a bike, it's a mattress. It could have been like Trogdor, you know, with a one beefy arm. You don't know Trogdor? You don't know the Homestar Runner where the guy types his emails with the boxing gloves on? The Mexican wrestler with the boxing gloves and the typing the email? Ladies no? and gentlemen. I believe Pete has gone off the deep end. If you never hear from me again, you will now know why. Yes, but if you never hear from me again, you already knew that it would be Google that had my head. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that's last week and then possibly the week before. Wait, wait, we uh, gotta find our oh 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 it's coming. Do you know what oh is is he gonna be in this case? Yeah, yeah, is he'll he, be there. How's he how's he gonna get here? Don't worry. Because I have an idea. Oh he's coming. Okay. All right. Um, what else happened at that same party in Orlando is... Um, I don't know. The girls were also drinking. No! I know. Surprising. And they got into an argument over which one of them Hold on. would make a better stripper. Women matured faster than... Hold on. Okay, you've got my attention now. <laughs> they, they were arguing over which one would make a better stripper, so they asked... The guys, which again, ladies, that's a dumb idea. Don't do that. <clears throat> Remember, this is how you survive, not how you become a stripper. And so Becky, don't ask that question. I think I would be a much better stripper than you. Yes, yes. What are, are you talking, talking about? You can neither work nor make it clap. You ain't got nothing. Yes, one of one of their names was Becky. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyways, um, uh, Michelle, Becky, and I don't remember some of the other names, but they were arguing over which one would be a better stripper. Not even, none of them have ever been strippers before. So they all stripped down to their thong only and came out with a broomstick in what remained of the living room and proceeded to have a strip off to see by our account which one of them did a better job. Pray tell who won. Well, could you imagine that we had a hard time deciding and needed them all to go again? I could see how that would happen. Yeah. I mean, stripping is a fine art, and I'm right. sure there were only subtle variances in well, the techniques. I mean, did you guys have cards and were like scoring them? Later, we were definitely scoring them, but the the progression went on to we need the tiebreaker for the lap dances, which would uh, the lap dances would be the tiebreaker. That you know what that makes a lot of sense yeah. because I mean, if you're gonna go all in with technique. And you have no lap dance skills. So, ladies, remember that um, when you go to these parties, uh, don't drink. Because <laughs> you may end up doing some dumb things with some even dumber people. I can't imagine. That's, um, yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a special night. Special is a good word for it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, you go to try to sweep up all the mess the next day, and you realize, where the hell's the broomstick? Go, oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Have you ever been to any crazy parties there, Harry? No, I'm a tame kind of person. Oh, come on, you're... I'm uh, sorry, it's the truth. You're about ten years older than I am, right? So, only. I mean, I doubt that. I don't know. We're, I mean, I think we're there's, like a, there's, there's, there's like a power involved in our age difference. No, we're using you're, scientific notation. You're not that old. Come on. You remember the slide rule? <laughs> yeah, I do. I use them. Do you remember the abacus? Uh, yeah, I taught my kids how to use an abacus. Oh, taught me. I mean, my wife taught my kids how to use abacus, and I can't remember. Remember when currency was sheep? No. Yeah, you see? <laughs> I've been here for a minute. Huh. Yeah, so we didn't really have any. Well, uh, shepherds were pretty loaded, huh? <clears throat> so when they went to the strip club and it was making it rain, it was like, ba 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 ba. No, that's the song. Ba ba ba. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. I shouldn't have gone there. That old song, Ba Ba Black Sheep, Have You Any Wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full has a totally different meaning. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you just really ruined my childhood. Really ruined it. Well, you know, most of your childhood is what became with the invention of uh, this square block does not go into this round hole. Look, I can try. And that would be the sound of the teacher slapping the crap out of you when they were allowed to. You know, hands on the desk. Oh, I thought you were referring to when I, checked, when I created that first wheel. You created the wheel? Uh, yeah. Must have been a hell of a party in order to come was, up with it, that thing. It took a lot of effort because, you know, actually at first it was kind of squarish. But over time trying to turn it, I was like, wow, as these edges get smaller, this moves much better. Since you invented the wheel during caveman time, did you also invent rock and roll? No, that wasn't me. No? I'm not owning that. Uh, I mean, I did roll rock down hills to kill dinosaurs. Hey, I had to throw a dad joke in there. But that was yeah, no. fathers of teenagers. Stop it! Oh no, you're making me misty. Verklempt. Very much so. You gotta use the big words. You no, know, in honor of his celebration today, something means something really cool happened. Please tell. So at 7:10 p.m., in honor of my son's birthday. Elon launched a rocket. He put up the greatest of Roman candles in honor of your son. I was impressed. Thanks, Elon. Thanks a lot. You made this day really special for him. Man, I we got to pour one for the homies there. Seriously, what would Elon drink? I don't think we can afford that. 
Yeah, yeah uh, you remember when you go into the, the back room at the liquor store, where it's usually the higher class liquor store, and they have the back room that they only show the highest value of customers, please understand that Crystal is that cheap stuff. Preach. Yeah. There's stuff that is not allowed to get above 32 degrees. Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, freedom height. Yes. Have you have you seen the well or or zero in that um, you know monarchy kind of temperature? Ah, uh, yeah, the one that makes sense. Or or not? Four pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or stone. Stone. Yeah, stone. Um. So. So wait, wait, okay. Now let's get back because you know it, it, they're gonna have this podcast just in time to potentially save them. From embarrassment. Tell Speaking them about of... coffee machines. Oh, well, if you're at an office party, um, there's a tradition. I'm not sure this is a tradition. This is stupidity. Well, but... well, well yeah, it's definitely stupidity. Again, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between and those on either side of the spectrum, do not, under any circumstance, Suggest or be the person to, after someone else suggests, place your butt on the copy machine. Or any various genitalia. Well, don't sit on it, basically. Um, because someone's going to hit that button and send off a whole bunch of copies. And modern copy machines are also fax machines. They also email. Okay, what is fax? You mean they're Wi-Fi connected, so they're going to email blast your body parts all over the corporate web? And beyond. Well, that's only if somebody forwards it. It depends on that. Believe me, if it's good enough, they're going to forward it. Wow. If it's if funny it's enough, enough, they're going to forward it. If it's small oh, enough, damn. they're going to forward it. <laughs> if it's did, wide enough, they're going to forward it. Did you see what Bob did? It. Yeah. <laughs> did you we see gotta, we got to share this with our wives. Oh my Uh-oh. goodness, did you see Karen's anus? It's got a star tattooed around this starfish. Um, I think we just sent it to the distribution list. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, now everybody knows that Carl has an exit only tattoo down there. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, suddenly it got quiet. Not disturbed. Would you have an exit only tattoo as well? I mean, not as well as in I have one. As in the oh, so do there. tell, Pete. <laughs> no, I have one tattoo. I'm a very, uh-huh. very... So somewhere on that joy body of yours, they had to actually write that so they knew what port to use? Ah, the truth comes out, robot. The truth comes out. How come when you go to try to plug in a USB, no matter what you do, even though it's a 50-50 chance of getting it right the first try, you always get it wrong in the first try? Actually, if you look at it, you know how to put it in the first. If time. you look at it, then you look at the nope. port. You nope. look at it again. Make sure it's the I right direction. Get my USB Sometimes right. I still screw it up. every time. If it's I have new, mad USB skills. The new um, micro USB. No, no, no I've got mad USB. Omnidirectional. No nope, traditional. Hmm. I've got some mad USB skills. So let's let's talk about more about the drinking that occurs. Oh please. The other thing that's really important is is not to drink and drive. Oh no 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 no. That's further that. down the scale. Well, in some countries, we're going to use Australia as an example, uh, a party in Perth, for example. Oh man. Um, where drinking is not actually illegal, because the roads are they're so far apart on everything. That drinking and drive, it's it's like almost impossible to enforce. And and it's just in Australia, it's just one of those things that you just don't do, you know. Driving? Well, drinking and driving. Ah. Yeah. So the so drinking's perfectly fine, driving's not. This this party in Australia, um, we're on uh, one of their army bases, right? The and, Australian army? Yes. Okay. And uh, one of our American army is there with us. And the Australian army guy, he has um guy soldier has one of these rifles and it's a steer. An army guy would be a little green thing that would be australian g r g and um so and it's a steer knowing is half the, okay spell s t y r i think i don't i'm not real familiar with these guns 
But I know that it's a you know it uses the same NATO round that we have for you know all our stuff the five five six, and um, so he's got it across his chest. And one of these soldiers from the U.S. is like, "Hey man, I know that gun. It's like that's a Raptor." And the, the Australian soldier's like, "Nah, mate, it, it's stiff." And uh, the sol- the American soldier is like, ah, "No, man, I know that gun. That's not a." St- here, man, that's a raptor. He's like, no, oh, mate. If you look right here, it says steer right on right on the slide. And you see, you can tell it's it's steer. It makes the the. Oh, the Australian. I know. I'm probably Australian. screwing up the accent. My I bad. I'm a stupid American. In advance for his butchery of your accent, my brother. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Preach. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so he's like. No, man, that's a raptor, and it's, I know that because it's in my video game. And wow. the Australian just shoots at him, like, looks at him, racks around, hits him with a round in the foot. And the guy's like, fuck, man, what did you do that for? Oh, you just shot me. Everybody's like, oh, he's shooting off at a party, you know. And he's like, no, mate, it's going to be okay. Just reset your life in your fucking video game. <laughs> And for the children listening, please ignore that f bomb. I'm I'm seriously I'm gonna try my hardest G. to beat that. This is the G. This is the G rating. No, it's PG. This Remember, in the PG thirteen, we're allowed to have the one F. This so is, this is it'll get there. Disney. This is a G rated podcast. G. 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 No. So, um, so later in that, because the guy he doesn't do anything about the hole in his foot, we're like, oh, just start drinking. So we're all wouldn't the alcohol leak out the hole in his foot? We're gonna go with yes. That's okay. that's not the only thing leaking out, but because the alcohol does get down into the stomach, where it's directly distributed to the bloodstream. Um, extreme um, biology lesson. Yeah. Okay. Right? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I dropped my microphone. No! It's down the shirt. Oh. Mike down. Oh. Mike down. Okay. Mike Jones. Okay. I think I got it. There we go. How'd Mike Jones get it. Hit it with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what? So anyways, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what? <laughs> I do believe you're correct, sir. <laughs> so, so we're drinking, 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 and it it's stupid. Like people are getting to the point of like blacking out on top of each other. And this guy he goes, "Hey, mate, you ever crash a car?" And dude, I've crashed by the way too many cars in my life, and. I've never done it from, like, drinking and driving or anything. I'm just a crappy driver, right? Not, like, um, Asian stereotype crappy so, driver. But like, wow. Okay. No, no, it's, okay. it's not that Asians wow. are bad drivers. I'm just saying that's the old stereotype because there's really no in-between. Like, one is, like, oh, I'm stopping in the intersection. I'm the other is wrong. drifting through the intersection, oh, no, breakdancing into the club, and everybody's going, Jesus, man, are you from the future? You know, there's no in-between. Oh, my God. Where that's where like guys mm. like me sit in the middle, like oh, I'm good, you know, I'm driving behind that guy. Hey, why are you slowing down? Beep beep, my, my horn. That's what it's for, right? So, um, so anyways, it's like, hey, you ever wreck a car? And I'm like, well, yeah, I've wrecked lots of cars. What's your horn? Have you ever wrecked a car? Or, I'm trying to figure. He says, do you, have you ever wrecked a car on purpose? And I, no. He goes, grab a pillow. <laughs> so. Nothing we, good's gonna come out. No, of course. We're drunk, so everything's a great idea, right? And it says after we grab the pillow, it's like take your belt off and take the pillow against your forehead with wrap it up there with the belt on your head. So we're in the Built-in car in airbag. This is a much older car. There was no airbag. So he's on you know, they drive on the other side, just like you know, Japan and England and a bunch of other countries. So he's looking over at me, like, sitting where you're at. He's like, all right, you ready? I'm like, let's go. And he floors it, and boom, right into a tree. And his face, he pops up just like this, and it is just blood ripping out of his nose, and he thinks it is the absolute funniest thing ever. So I can't stop laughing either. This guy is, like, bleeding to death out of his face in his car. Sorry about the microphone again. It's slipping down here. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, so it's not good with the clippy thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even trying to clip it because I know it <laughs> creaks. 
But um, so his blood is just rolling out of this guy's face. His steering wheel is dented. The whole front of the car is just mashed. I mean, it's so bad that the roof Don't line try of the car this at home. is bent down between us. Like right here, it's bent down. Everything. The dash is messed up. The windshield, the whole thing's like mashed up. It's bad. We hit this tree fast, right? Real hard. And he thinks the funniest damn thing. So like a year later... We go back to the same spot, and I don't know where the guy is, whatever. We don't have another party or anything like that, because, you know, hey, you're not allowed to anymore, you know, the whole command, whatever thing that happened. And, you know, some and, lunatic shooting some guy in the foot and crashing into a tree. Yeah, it was, I think somebody may have gotten upset over that. Well, I believe in the military we call that a safety stand-down. <laughs> a whole bunch of training came about because of this. Anybody who's listening to, to this that happened to be involved in that, again, sorry. Um, it was a good time for everyone involved, except for um, well, the guy that got shot in the foot. Except for the guy, well, he had a good time too. But um, yeah, so there was there was that car when we went back a year later is still against the tree, like it it's is joking. through the tree almost. The tree is like halfway up, like to the windshield, what remains of it, and the doors are like ajar. The whole car twisted, and. Um, it has a sign on it that says the most important thing out of all this is don't drink and drive. I could have just said that. We don't have to go on this dissertation about Australians and steer and raptors and video games and some guy getting shot in the foot. Yeah. I'm just saying. So there's some so crazy here's very there. important things we've discovered so far today. Alcohol is the devil. Apparently, it's going to cause you to light a mattress on fire and jump out of a three-story window. Um, strip. Take photos of your genitalia with things called copy machines. For those of you who are unfamiliar with these devices, ask someone a bit older who works in a corporate office. Um, and for okay. some stupid reason, slam a perfectly good vehicle into a tree and cause you to bleed out of your face. Don't forget, possibly shoot someone. <laughs> no, but the guy who shot someone was not drunk. No, he wasn't. So he, he was didn't just really qualify. Oh. They shot the guy who was drinking. So don't get shot. There we go. Yeah, what you say. <laughs> I, was... I don't I don't I don't know where to go with that one. But alcohol is the devil. Yeah, so they say, like, weed and all this other stuff are gateway drugs. Oh, uh, it's probably alcohol. <laughs> By the way, I love Jack Daniels. Not the person. The man. Alias is cool, too, but you know, you know the alcohol. You know, you know, no, you know, I went to the Jack Daniels distillery, and I learned all about the stuff. And I'm, I'm quite the fan of Jack Daniels. Okay. I and do, do you know his brother, Charlie, and his band? The Charlie Daniels band specifically. Interesting. Yes, yes. See, I, I've, I've heard, heard of the devil because apparently he went down to Georgia and he was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he made a deal. Interesting. Yes. I heard that there was something about some golden fiddle laying down at Johnny's feet by the end of this. Yeah. And he was I'm telling the devil to just come on back if you ever want to try again. Yeah. Because I told yeah. you once, you son of a bitch, I'm the best there's ever been. Once again, Disney, he, ignore him and. We gotta, we gotta keep this G, 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 G. <laughs> Sufficiently disturbing, right there, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who are only listening to the podcast, do not look this one up on YouTube, please. <clears throat> Why? That was disturbing. It's not like I'm exposing myself or that anything. Was weird. That was disturbing. Oh, God, that wasn't weird? Well, the, With the whole thing the, going there? The crabby thing was goofier than that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the crab leg thing that you'd be a human cannibal. If you ate, if you were, and you ate, if crab legs were the size of, like, if crabs were the size of people. Mm. Crab, you don't remember the crab people? Sorry, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm back in your bags. <laughs> Big vats of butter. Mm. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're, we're still partying. So now we've discovered that alcohol is the devil. Yes. And if it's a New Year's party, what you should really do is stand around 
eat copious amounts of chips and dip and count down with all of your nice sober friends and enjoy the transition from the year that has passed to the bright future of the year that is coming. So how about um, what if we have some advice on like say that you're at this party and you've had a couple of drinks. You know that you're only like, like one or two. Like Jack and Tina? Like uh, Jim and um, Rumpel? Jose. Oh, jeez, not Jim and Jose. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's not a good combo right there. You've only had one? Of each? No, one or two. Of, of one and, of those. And you've eaten, it's been a few hours, you know your what body's going to digest it, it's been a few hours, a steak, of course. Or that donut with the uh, shredded... Pork in it. It's delicious. The pork donut. Yes. Yes. Pork filled donut. Still sounds delicious. So, you know, it's been a few hours. You're at this party. The party has progressed to like extra stupid, and drugs have come out. What do you do? You know, you can't leave yet. What? Well, I've never done drugs, but I've seen them. You've done. never done drugs? Never. Never done drugs? I've never, I, like. Wait, wait, when you have a headache, what do you do? Okay, we're talking about an illegal. Uh, it's it's drugs. I get the stuff that's prescribed to me by the VA that kills like migraine headaches. So yeah, yeah, but it, it's pain. illegal to me though, because you're not prescribed it. You see, so that's illegal drugs. Okay, so illegal drugs is prescribed. We're talking about like cocaine, heroin, meth, stuff like that. People drink coke every day. Not not Coca Cola. Oh, I know Coca Cola used to have a little bit of cocaine in it back, back in the day. That it Those are good old days. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Did it taste the same back when they believed it was a medicine? Not quite. No, <laughs> a little different, huh? And that high fructose corn syrup uh, garbage just oh, ruins man. the flavor in my opinion. Yeah, when you're overseas, it doesn't have any of that corn syrup. I know. They actually use real honest to god sugar. But you know what's crazy? Some of the best sodas I've ever had in my life. Were from like Lebanon. They were made with real sugar, and the flavor. You're not gonna believe this. Tamarind. The best soda I've ever had was by a brand called Freeze, F R E E Z, out of Lebanon. Apparently, this is a commercial. Out of Lebanon, and it was the flavor tamarind. Do you know what a tamarind is? I was born in Barbados. Okay, cool. So you've had tamarind. Lots of dates and so on. Yeah. Okay, that's what they are. If you don't know, it's like a date type comes from a tree. Man, they're good. They're tamarind pretty good. Seasons in, and you know you have to shut over. And they're nothing like, is and they tamarind flavored in the states. And, yeah, actually, I think what soda is Walmart. tamarind flavored? So if you go into Walmart and you go into the section, I believe. Oh my God, I think I'm thinking. Aisle four. Yeah, this will where happen. Where they have the that section that is heavily international, and they have a lot of Hispanic food. I think there's actually a tamarind flavored soda in that one section. And if you're listening from, say, Tucson, Arizona, I'm sure it'll be an aisle five for you too. <laughs> well, no, I'm talking to you and our masses. Yes, tamarind soda does. Do you have any more USA. specific? Which Walmart? Walmart. Within an Walmart. hour, I can Walmart. be at the ones in Daytona, Walmart. Orlando. Dude, dude, I'm not going to Daytona. Vieira, there's one, there's one down Coco, the street. There's one down the street. Cocoa Beach. Dude, 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 dude. dude, dude Titusville. Dude. Yes. See, wasn't that easy? I forget about the one in Titusville. <laughs> Honestly, I forget that Walmart even exists like on the inside. I see it as a website, and I go, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. Ah. Set up a time, and then I park at the parking space. Okay, he has and they derailed come the entire conversation. And they put it into the car. So I was having this conversation with a client the other day about how, actually it wasn't a client, it was a friend, how we've gotten to the society, uh, pardon me, but I've derailed, um, this, this bus is about to go down this hill real fast. It's going to get ugly. I would run right now if I was anybody listening to this podcast. Is it like a, you're hearing banjos downhill? Worse. Oh, no. Worse. N worse than squeal like a pig from yes. deliverance. Yes, sir. Far worse. Are, are we prepared? Should I brace for back? That sounds terrible. Should yeah, I hold on no, to the chair? That's not, that's, <laughs> there's no need to brace for impact here. 
But we went down the conversational route or rabbit hole of convenience in American society. Down the conversation street. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Is that what I said on top here? actually a, ra a rabbit hole. Because conversation you, rabbit hole. Yes, because, you know, you lost in there and you actually you never know, come out because you have to war in and there's several tunnels and, you know, you, this is like the, one of our podcasts. Anyways, go on. <laughs> so we were discussing convenience. Uh, no, there was no convenience involved. Yes, there was. Well, well my you height. got into your vehicle after your shopping experience was point, oh, click, point, Walmart. click, yes. point, click, point, click. That was quite Basket full purchase. Get in car, sit in car, someone loads car, return car to the original point. How many calories have you burned? Twelve, probably. Mm. How many calories would you have burned had you gone to Walmart and actually collected those items? Well, because I had to spend a heck of a lot more money, too, and that cart would get heavy because there's a $100 cart fee. At least, at least 100 to 200 calories. So you've just changed a 200-calorie experience into 12. Yes. Mm. So now you want a dinner. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want a dinner. Okay. And you're like, I could get up, or I could pick up my handy dandy smart device and dinner. Beep bop boop dinner. So now my entire cooking experience was get off couch, pay individual, sit back on couch and stuff eggs. How many calories did you burn? How many calories does it take for you to just go, uh, pizza deliver? So well, not simple pizza anymore now, because now we have Uber Eats. And the other delivery services, so you can eat anything you want at any time you want. Yes. With minimum effort. Yes. You don't have to get into the car, walk across a parking lot, walk into the restaurant, stand, walk to a table, nothing. You know, Wally. -E. Yes. You got exactly where I'm going. It had had all the fat people sitting in their little chairs. Because Never moving everything was their convenient. Because it was all convenient. Precisely. But that's where the world's going, man. Well, new decade. Let's be cognizant of that and not go there. You mean renovate your lifestyle? No! <gasps> Gasp! All of a sudden this just turned into an ad. How horrible <laughs> is that? How yeah, don't drag and drive, go to the gym. Well, don't drink and drive and be cognizant of the fact that every little convenience is robbing you of the ability to burn an extra calorie while you're still consuming as much, if not more. That's true. Maybe, how many calories would it have taken for me to drive my car from my house to yours versus ride my bicycle from my house to yours versus walk from my house to yours versus run from my house to yours? And the residual calories burned that you would get from said exercise. You'd have been run over by somebody, so that doesn't really matter. You'd have been, you'd have been burning no calories. Yes, again, yeah, but would Florida. larger take that impact from the Ford F-150 that was jacked up and didn't see you more than skinny? Hmm. I don't even think I would have noticed you, actually. At that height, you would have been hit by the a tire in the undercarriage. Yeah, those 60-inch tires on those 24-inch rims. they hurt. They, they take no prisoners. They do pick up rocks and sling them at your windshield when you're behind them, though. Hmm. They, uh, so my wife's new car. No. Second rock chip in the windshield. First one, they call up safe light. Second one, you have to call up safe light. Second one's in the bottom right, so we're kind of waiting for like another rock chip that's like in the middle, and then just have them fix that one too. Mm. So that depends on it's that. not the way. But it depends on how bad it is. I mean, the stress of the no, the one in the bottom right is just this little circle. Okay. But the one we, the very first one we got, we did call them, and it hit dead center of the windshield, and it started to expand. Wow. No, not starburst, just the line just expand. Ooh. So he came out, he did this little rubber band with like a BB on it, and snap, snap, snap over top of it, put on the little thing that looks like a syringe and a suction cup and a magnet and a mirror, and a bunch of weird little things, and then he, ding, and it's like, kind of slowly pressed down, and then he pulled it off, and then he took out a razor blade and scraped, 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 scraped,
That's impressive. Yeah, it was really cool. I mean, I, I know where it is if I'm looking for it, but when, but the windshield's got to be, like, super clean. No bug splatters on it. And we live in Florida, so you know how long that's going to last. Um, the drive... Out of the car wash. Yeah, yeah. we'll get a bug splatter. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's not bug season right now, though. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Dude, it's 84 degrees today. Welcome to winter in Florida. For those of you who've experienced snow, I miss snow. You're so freaking lucky. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to get over that. It's been like too many years now, and I still hate I hate the fact that my holiday season is filled with green. Like envy? Like grass. Oh, as in, like, instead of dying grass Foliage and, and having to scrape all the, the snow and ice off your windshield. Yes. The reason why I like Florida is I've never had to scrape sunshine off my windshield. I asked a guy at work the other day, it's like, so when you moved from Wisconsin to Florida, did you keep any of your ice scrapers? He's like, no, I got rid of all of them. I said, well, I kept the, the one I have for my windshield. He goes, oh, no, I still have that. So what do you mean by ice scraper then? He said... No, I get rid of the one for scraping my driveway. Like, he says it's a big steel plate on a stick, and you use this to scrape your driveway yeah. so you can pull your car out of your driveway in Wisconsin. God bless you guys. How do you live there? I've been to uh, I, I Green Bay it. before, and it, it was so damn hot in the summer. The tar was boiling in between the cracks on that and you super black have legitimate blacktop. Legitimate seasons. I miss legitimate seasons. Florida's renowned for two seasons. It's, it's unbearable. Um, burning, which is yeah, dry hot. season, when if you flick a cigarette out the window, the near trees will catch on fire and start a wildfire, and half the state will start burning. And oh my God, there's a hurricane coming that's going to wipe us off the face of the earth. So that's Florida's two two primary seasons. Oh, the news freaks out over those hurricanes every time. Remember, you have a party during hurricanes. How do you survive it? <laughs> if you're so drunk that when the twister takes you, you're all wobbly and flexible, you survive it that way. That's right. It's when you brace for impact is that you don't really do so well. But if you're like a noodle, wobbly and flexible, when you get picked up by a tornado... Spawn from a hurricane and get chucked out the air. Wee! Ragdoll. Flop, hey. flop, flop. When was the last time that three inches of snow killed somebody? Probably because they didn't know how to drive in it. And if that happens time? anywhere in, say, California or Florida, wait, wait. pretty much people are screwed. And so in, in Southern Russia. California. I know Northern gets When was the last time a hurricane killed somebody? Every time one occurs. Pretty much every time. Yeah, so... <laughs> but not in, I'll take, in Florida, I'll we take know. The three inches of snow. When's the last time somebody died from a hurricane in Florida? Snow. I'll take the three inches of snow. Last time one was here. I'll take the three inches of snow. How many people died from our last hurricane? Dude, seriously, that thing like came out like, ah, oh, we're all doomed. It's a category. No, no, it's no, bigger no, than no. a five. It's the strongest thing we've ever seen. Uh, ah! It didn't get and it didn't even touch yeah. anything. Had it gotten here in its current path, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, we would. We'd probably be recording this somewhere else. <laughs> no, we wouldn't be here. Oh, no. Please, dude. I was at work. That building okay, was going to be fine. You were in a bunker. That building would have been fine. I don't it's, think your apartment complex, my house, most of Titusville would have been, hmm, hey, hey, what's that satellite image of that sandbar? No, that was Titusville. Oh. Maybe. But it didn't. And that's how it always is. Thank God it didn't. But that's how it the always Bahamas get, The Bahamas are going, shit, I wish it was them. <laughs> <laughs> what Bahamas? That doesn't exist anymore. Well, it does. I guess it's all back now but... because um, Jen is on a cruise out there right now. Okay. Uh, hopefully she'll report it. Jen would be his sister-in-law. Yes. And a dear friend of mine who I miss terribly, and she needs to drag her behind back over here and visit me. And oh, if, wait, wait, Jen, wait. you're listening or watching or whatever it is you do, weird, crazy person, um, we need a guest for our show, and I think yes. probably be a good Cards point. Against Genmanity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Done. Oh, man. We're going to podcast the snot out of that. Dude, if we have a live event, that's what it needs to be. Like drinking with Cards Against Humanity and Jen needs to be. Oh, wait, no, no, no. There can't be any evidence of that. I'm sorry. 
Huh? I'm sorry, there can't be any evidence of that. No drinking? Yeah, no. Why not? Because that would be bad. And I don't drink, remember? I am a saint. Okay, well, I drink, so I'm not a saint. Okay, that's fine. We'll just record you and your infinite silly. You can't put the camera on just me. I'm not entertaining by myself. Oh, I am sure drunk. You are fully entertained. So what do you think? They should get like one of those selfie sticks right off my head and the camera face. I say way, we just. I'll be like. Woo! I say we whatever just it is they mount do. that to someone's head like oh, like a lantern, and we just watch you deteriorate during the entire course of the game. That would be a good time. Yeah, see, if I'm drinking tequila, I just slowly deteriorate into laughter. Oh, that, see? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an upcoming podcast. Jen actually found the tequila that is, it's probably something I should not drink anymore. Oh, Jen. Oh, Jen. We need to collaborate on this. Speaking of parties. This stuff so, is ladies and gentlemen, TV. apparently, we're going to have a live action event that shows you the evils of alcohol, specifically the tequila. Yeah, the tequila. Um, I don't think we should have that for some time. Probably not until we get a much bigger following. That way oh, I'm sure that will give us a much bigger following. <laughs> yes, but we need enough to where more people will actually watch it at that point. Right now, it's it's mostly He's like high school the kids. Fun out of <laughs> Not even high school kids. No, no they will. Apparently, be. it will soon. Yes. Soon enough. Well, no, they're entering eighth grade, so they aren't. They still aren't high school kids. Because remember, you will be entering your your daughter and my son will be entering eighth grade. Yes, yeah, it's yet. not high school. Still not high school yet. Even though he is in a junior, junior or senior high school. Yes. but he he he's yeah, still not officially. Yes. Yeah. Spec. All right, well, um, let's go ahead and finish this off. Um, we hey, learned we're not, I bad. can't, just, yeah, you know, have we had, have we had? No, you're not drinking right now, so that doesn't work. Hey, you can't slowly deteriorate in the stupid. Hey, oh, you're going to bring your brain down to my level? Stop it. How are you? <laughs> you're going to beat me with experience. <laughs> so, so, for the uh, people listening to this podcast, Stop. Now, when the no. big holiday parties come, no. and you're tempted to over imbibe, yeah, yeah, over imbibe, because the man is going to be out there in his fancy vehicles with his flashing lights. He's got the disco ball on the roof. You better look out Woo-hoo. for you, and they, they're not going to have any mercy. And it's gonna cost you a lot of money. There's like lawyers and classes. Yeah, and, everybody knows all those. And all kinds of complicated. You, you just you're you're better off just one more chip and salsa than uh, yeah. And then there's vomiting. Oh, it may have tasted good going down. But on its way back with all that stomach acid, it's not going to be a good time. No. Yeah, there were a lot of parties in the Navy I did not cover on this. Like my goodbye party from when I was leaving Nevada. The one where we were at the club. I thought what happened in Nevada stayed in Nevada. The, the one on base and the pilots from the F-18 were pissed off about my UAV forcing the entire tag to hold short. That one ended up in fighting. That was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> but See, short alcohol, hand, don't drink and drive, guys. And alcohol impairs your year. mind because when fighting becomes fun, yeah, that's not fun. Fair so right. don't fight and drink, or drink and fight. Or drive. What? Don't, Whatever the robot says. Don't fight says. and drive. Whatever the robot says. Yes. All right. So we learned the lesson today: don't fight and drive. Um, and parties are bad. Alcohol for your bad. Yes. Saintliness good. Good night, everybody! <laughs> Episode. Oh, God. Wait, what are your hands doing? Counting! Episode! The episode! Do you need an abacus? It would be much easier. If you get the baleen, you force the extra word.
good. What was the... That's oh, you forcing the water out. That's the, their filter feeders, remember? They push the extra water out with their tongues, and the bay, and they catch the plankton. It's a big filter. Episode 8, we're on Apple, Breaker, Google, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Overcast. Radio Public, Spotify, Instagram, and the book face. It's like Facebook, but more books going in the faces. Overcast, lots more reading. Is that like when it's not really sunny? When it's not sunny, it's just yeah. overcast sort of like... No, it's apparently a whole other um, podcast dimension. Wait, now we've got dimensional podcasting? Yeah. And you know, the, the roaches would eventually turn into the, the creatures that are in terraformars and take over the world and... Or the black soldier fly would make a spaceship. <laughs> so it depends on what whiskey you're using. Drink. Well, it was going to be Jack Daniels, but that's kind of dark. Oh, yeah. Well, you know that American swill. I don't drink that shit. I love Jack Daniels. Yeah, I don't drink real whiskey. Well, that's true. I don't drink whiskey. I drink scotch. When I I've been to the Jack Daniels distillery. Okay, but scotch, dude. Scotch. 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 We'll, t- we'll talk about whiskey and scotch another day. Dude, because something really funny happened at the Jack Daniels distillery, and I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> okay, fine. Because it was pretty damn funny. But you want to know why scotch is so good? Because they even tape it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a dad joke. Oh, come on! Yes. Episode 8, we're out! I figured I'd put this in a koozie today, because it'd stay a little colder. Like, this is drinking of it, though. I did a little bit. You didn't really drink any of it, though. I did a little bit. You didn't really drink any of it, though. I did a little bit. You didn't really drink any of it, though. I did a little bit. You should do a better job. You're good. (laughs) How did that go again? (laughs) She said she was throwing away all the defective candies. And I look over there and I see M&M's just strewn them out. They're all over the place. I said, what are you doing? said, I'm getting rid of all the W's. Why? I have no idea. We should find out how to time travel. We discussed that. We didn't discuss time travel. Time travel is not possible. Why not? Because. Well, what about the um, Einstein's theory of shifting your frame of reference? It didn't time travel. No, you moved it. The frame of reference didn't change. No, my frame of reference did change. Not your phone's frame of reference. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. It was. No. But now it's. It's not. Different frame of reference. No. Was the timeline is a flat plane? Blah blah blah. blah. Oh, once I get this past my chest hair. I'm going to get increasingly inebriated during the course of this conversation. <laughs> You're not drinking, though. Exactly. Oh, man. I was going to bring a beer for this, too. That would have to be a serious podcast, because, you know, you're, you're going to get my ire up over that top. <laughs> oh, but it would be funny in the process. Uh, turn this crap off. But the space aliens would use...